What man cannot do, the emperor sent his sons to accomplish. They were an antidote to the weakness of flesh and the sin of mind that kept man from greatness. His sons he sent to bear the cost of life and death so that man may prosper. Such a heavy burden was a poison to the blood of his sons, and so the emperor sent his executioner to set the afflicted free. An ancient passage written in belite Sanskrit, engraved upon a Baroque slab of plasteel and iron, which hangs above the door to the hidden reclusium of Astarath the Grim. What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm bringing you 40 facts on the Warhammer 40k universe once again. This time we're talking about Astarath, one of the Blood Angel warriors. Now this guy is pretty badass, Ever since I was a wee little lad back in 5th edition, I saw this guy and he just he just popped to me. Where Sanguinius was the pure angelic uh, space marine. I always saw Astrath as his shadow since he has the dark, you know, black wings and he's got the Executioner X. And he always he always seemed pretty cool. I never actually got to play him on the battlefield. Mephiston always took that role, since uh, back in the day I got tired of losing with Tau in 5th edition. So I'm like, Blood Angels, here I come. Mephiston, that's the man for me. And uh, I lost friends like that. <laughs> if you want to hear the story, head over to 40 Facts on Mephiston to find out. But for now, we are going to dive into the High Chaplain, known as Astarath the Grim. Astarath the Grim is the High Chaplain and Redeemer of the Lost of the Blood Angels Space Marines. He is tasked with granting the Emperor's peace to all those Space Marines who bear the gene seed of the Primarch Sanguinius and who have become possessed by the Black Rage. There is no station within the Blood Angels chapter more greatly honored or more deeply loathed. Honored for the burden that is the Redeemer of the Lost as he bears and carries out the most difficult but necessary of duties. And loathed because that is the duty that has stained forever with the blood of his fellow battle brothers. In battle, Astaroth is a true angel of death, an axe-wielding figure who shepherds the madman at his side to a final, meaningful end. Astarath has the sacred calling to seek out those amongst the scions of Sanguinius, whose souls have been claimed by the terrible genetic flaw known as the Black Rage, and whose mental degradation has become so severe that even an honorable death in battle is no longer possible. His quarry found, Astarath ends his lost battle brother's life with a single mighty blow to the neck, severing his head to thwart the fiendish endurance granted by the Black Rage. This is without a doubt an act of mercy, a gift to the accursed. Nonetheless, no battle brother can ever feel entirely comfortable in Astarath's presence, for they know that the bite of his forbidding axe might one day be the last thing that they too feel. While officially bound to the Blood Angels, Astarath's duties carry him far and wide among the chapter's successors. It was long ago considered that these terrible duties were best borne by a single Astartes of Sanguinius' line, and thus far at least a single brother has been equal to the task at hand. So does Astarath tread the stars, seeking those who require his blessing of oblivion. Astarath can sense the Black Rage's degenerative onset before it becomes apparent to any other soul, including its victim. Individual afflictions echo through his mind in the form of dune-laden chords, and they grow ever stronger as other battle brothers fall into the Black Rage's clutches. No separation of distance can sever to mute this symphony. Whether the victims are fighting on Armageddon or in Ultramar, Astarath can sense their plight, and he must go to them as his duty requires. So it is that the Redeemer of the Lost has become a true Angel of Death, a legend of destruction amongst the Blood Angels, their successor chapters, and their foes alike. 
Whenever Astrath the Grim treads, the enemy faces not only his fury, but the onslaught of space marines caught in the twilight shadows of the Black Rage. Astarath's sorrow for his doomed battle brothers serves only to fuel a determination that they shall pass into death, having known at least one great victory. In this cause he fights like a man possessed, resolute that his twin gifts of death and redemption shall never be denied. And now on to the war gear of the Grim. Artificer Armor Astarath is clad and master crafted crimson colored artificial armor that has the appearance of exposed, striated muscles. The Winged Jump Pack Astroth wears a modified version of the Astartes Jump Pack that is designed to emulate Sanguinius' own angelic wings, but instead of being angelic white, they are a dark mirror to that of the Sanguinary Guard's own jump packs, framing the Redeemer of the Lost by a halo of darkest feather. When leaping down from above, it is as if the grim executioner has taken flight on broad angelic wings, like an avenging angel of legend, thus striking fear into his foes. The Executioner's Axe Astarath's axe is crafted to deliver the perfect killing blow. This mighty two-handed mastercrafted power axe is so keen it can even slice through power fields. Many consider the blade to be cursed, for it is steeped beyond cleansing in the blood of Sanguinius' sons. Yet it is indeed a peerless weapon of mercy and war, its cutting edge coated with void diamond and sharpened to a monomolecular finish. Also included in his war gear is a rosarius, frag and crack grenades, and a bolt pistol. Treat them with honor, my brothers, not because they will bring us victory this day, but because their fate will one day be our own. Astarath the Grim, the High Chaplain of the Blood Angels. And yet again, we come to an end of another 40k video. Now this was short yet sweet, just like there is always dark and light. Let me know what you guys think of Astarath the Grim. Do you guys like his appearance? Do you like that awesome winged jetpack? Or perhaps you're more inclined to the uh, Mephiston. Um, now this has really gotten me thinking about how awesome the Blood Angels are. Uh, the Blood Angels, I feel in my opinion, that they're kind of overlooked. Um, they're just another Astartes, similar to the White Scars. But if you actually d look deeper into the lore, you can see how badass they are. So that being said, I might do a couple more insight videos. For example, the Sanguinary Guard, since we already have Dante up. But anyway guys, let me know what you guys want to hear from us in the comments down below. Leave all your suggestions there, as well as head on over to our social media sites. Our Facebook is there to let you guys know of all things 40k related that, is, that are going on, as well as what we are up to. For example, today I am going up against my buddy who wields the Salamanders. So expect an awesome battle between my Celestial Sons. and his Salamanders of Nocturne. Also, we do have a Patreon page where you guys can pledge a simple dollar a month and that'll help us bring you more epic 40k content. And that is all the time I have for you guys today. As always, I am the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'm signing out. Thank <laughs> you.